Good morning. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. How are you today? I'm excited. It is Thursday, and I believe it's the second day of March, but we're on, ooh, let me see, episode 43. Yay, we're moving right along here. Good morning, everybody. I want to say to you, we have today a very interesting juice. Um, my coworker, Jerry, and his wife, Sheila, started juicing a couple of weeks ago, and they told me about a juice that they made, so I wanted to try it. They juiced carrots, mangoes, and oranges, and I thought, oh my God, that sounds so delicious. But I'm doing a little twist on it because we're going to use what is called white carrots, because remember I told y'all that I had been shopping for different ingredients just to test it out to see. Nutritional benefits are very, very good when you put a variety in, but we're going to juice our oranges, the lunar carrots, which is the white carrot, nectarines, and I have one mango. So I have about five oranges. I have four nectarines, uh, eight carrots, and um, one mango today. So you want me to repeat that? I think it's uh, four oranges, four or five oranges in there. I know it's four nectarines, one mango, and eight carrots today. But I wanted to tell y'all, y'all know in the mornings I get up, I have to go and be with my father and the spirit of truth. I have to. And so today, just in spending time with him, because, you know, we started out the week with forgiveness. And I'm telling you what, it hasn't been a challenge for me to forgive, but it has been interesting to me how... He prepared me for what was coming for the week. And then today when I was sitting with him and I'll read in Psalms and I, again, I'm in uh, Romans. That's the book I'm reading in now. I won't say I'm studying Romans. I just like to read. And as God brings something out to me when I read, then it ministers to me and it helps me to understand him better, how he thinks and how he wants me to live. So today we're going to start out with scripture from him. Because in forgiving, I told y'all I had to deal with something this week where somebody wasn't happy with a decision that my husband and I made. And the scripture that came to me today, because I do journal, um, and as I was journaling today, as the words were coming, then I connect scripture to those words. That's how I journal. So anyway, I want to read this to you all. And I'm excited. Because it was so um, like what I was dealing with. It says, listen at this, Hebrews 13, 5. I'm going to read from the King James Version first, and then I'm going to read from the New International Version. Got to make sure my microphone is on. It is. I do test before I start um, the episode with everybody. But I do want you all to know today is a good day to have a good day. And I'm going to read Hebrews 13, 5. I was giving y'all time to get y'all Bibles. Did y'all know that's what I was doing? Okay, so here we are. In the King James Version, it says, Let your conversation be without covetousness and be content with such things as you have. For he has said, I will never leave you nor forsake you. When I saw that, God reminded me of my life before before we moved to this home and he it, he just brought it back to me he said I, I've loved you from the first day of creation he said I've loved you and he said don't you know that my power my love my my effectiveness in your life can penetrate through anything and today when I was just standing in my prayer room and leaning up against the door, I just began to cry because he, he revealed that thing to me. He said, I can penetrate anywhere, any darkness. And he said, think about it. He said, I can penetrate through brick and mortar. He said, you want to know how I do it? And I said, yeah. He said, oxygen. He said, I created oxygen. He said, there is no pump that's coming into your home or anywhere in any building that pumps in oxygen, the levels that most humans need, animals need. We, we don't have a machine that pumps the oxygen in. He said, I can penetrate through brick and mortar. 
He said, I can penetrate through anything. He said, so if I can come through walls with the ability for you to be able to breathe freely so that you can live, he said, then can I not penetrate your soul, your heart, your mind with my presence, with my love, if you will allow me? See, the oxygen and everything is free to everybody, but we choose whether or not we want to let him enter our lives. That's why I love him. I choose to let him in. I choose to allow him to come into my space and clear out the confusion, the messiness that's going on in my mind and in my heart so that I will learn and easily forgive because that's what he's done. Now, listen at this one. This is the international version of Hebrews 13, 5. It says, keep your lives free from the love of money and be content with what you have because God has said, never will I leave you and never will I forsake you. So what he's saying is, I don't want you to worry so much about stuff. I got you. But there are some principles in my word that I need you to obey. Tithing is a principle. I know a lot of people are like, you're giving all your money to the church. No, I'm giving my money because it's a principle in the word of God that I must obey. See, there are certain things that are written for us to obey. Some people say the tithe is in the Old Testament. Well, you better do some more research and see that it is in the New Testament as well. Because there is always a way that we can tithe. See, some people always think it's money. I had a debate with somebody years or years and years ago about that. Because I told the person, I said, when I started tithing, I wasn't tithing money. I was tithing my time because I didn't have any money. I wasn't working. So I didn't have an income, but I would tithe my time at the church or the place of worship that I was attending at the time. And I would go and volunteer in the daycare, volunteer to clean up, volunteer to do whatever it was, hang wallpaper, paint, make curtains. I would volunteer to run errands. I would volunteer. But you know what it ended up doing? My volunteering, even to volunteer to decorate, the church was in a renovation project. And the pastor said, God said, you're over that project. Well, listen at this, guys. I volunteered my time for two years. Two years. My children were in school. So my husband said, you don't have to work while they're in school. So what I did, I volunteered my time. But in volunteering my time, in turn, God blessed me with the business doing the exact same thing that I volunteered my time doing. When I started hanging wallpaper at that church, I didn't even know how to hang wallpaper. I had to reupholster 900 theater chairs. Did I know how to reupholster? No. But look at what God did. He, he blessed the work of my hands. So when we get ourselves all worked up, and listen to outsiders, people who are outside of the kingdom. See, we're kingdom citizens. We're children of a king. And our father have us doing things that are illogical. They make no sense to the natural mind. And so when people come to eat of our flesh or to fight us in the blessing of God, he will pull us back and he'll say, forgive them because they're in utter darkness. And then what do you do? You pray and say, God, open their eyes that they can see. I don't want to see anybody in darkness because I remember when I was. And I told somebody the other day, I needed God. I think I told my grandson this because I probably would, would have been a street person, homeless or selling my body or doing something that darkness will push you to do because you don't know the way. And I want to tell y'all, God brings life. He's the life giver. He's the restorer of everything that the canker worm and the locusts have eaten. You know what that means? Everything that life has taken from you, he will restore it back to you. But you got to come and sit with him. And the quicker you obey him, the quicker he will bless your life. The quicker you obey him, the quicker he will bless your life. I'm telling you. I didn't realize that because I thought I knew, but that's what darkness will do to you. So I want to tell y'all today, love yourself, love God even more. 
love him, thank him, be grateful for every area in life where you are right now. Because you know what? He's building something in you. And this is what he told me today. He said, when I stood and leaned up against the wall in my prayer room, he said, this is your reward for diligently seeking me. See, I wasn't, I had no clue. But he said, I will reward those who diligently seek me. This is your reward. And I'm not finished because you're still seeking me. I'm not seeking him for stuff. I'm seeking him for him. He asked me today, he said, okay, father, I can't tell you what he asked me. That's what he just told me. He said, that's between me and you. You can't be a gate mouth. I want you to share stuff, but that's between me and him. And see, that's the kind of relationship I have with him. I heard him say, shh, 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 shh. that's not for everybody. That's just for you, baby girl. That's your reward for diligently seeking me. You see, when you pursue him, he going to run after you. But he said, when you, he said, draw nigh to me, I'll draw nigh to you. But if you pull him away from him, pulling back from him, because you don't understand, you don't have to understand he's God. So just know that God, if you're pursuing God, you're in a safe place. If you're pursuing something else that you know ain't right, why are you pursuing stuff that you know in your heart? You're pretending. You're fake. You're phony. You're really a pretender. Then how can you expect to get from God what it is that he have for you? Yeah. 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 How can you expect? How can you expect? How can you expect that? I'm going to leave that alone. I'm going to leave that alone. I'm done with the word for today because I believe that helps somebody forgive people because you got to, you, you can't allow the enemy to keep you in bondage. You've got to forgive people. And what the enemy comes to do is a trickle down effect. If that person or those people can affect you right here, then it will affect everything about your life. It'll affect your home. If you're married, it'll affect your marriage because you've got to work those things out and your mate has got to understand why are you acting like this? And sometimes you can't explain it, but because I have been this way before, I was able to explain to my husband, this is what's going on and we need to stand together in this. See, that's, that was, wasn't easy because it was hard when I first started learning that lesson. But here we go. So we're going to do a really good juice today. And that took 12 minutes and 53 seconds. And so listen, we, we're talking about the lymphatic system. That, that part of the body, that fluid in the body that is more lymph fluid than it is blood flowing through the body. Go figure. So people, my friends, my compadres out there, um, what I want y'all to understand is this is a major machine that you carry and you got to take care of it. You take care of that car. I was in an accident on Sunday. Go figure. Y'all didn't know that. I'm just telling you. I collided with a bird going across the major bridge that I have to cross every day. Collided with a seagull. That seagull, you would have thought he had talons, big ones like an eagle or he had real hands. Because when he hit my window, my, my mirror on my car, he ripped off my signal light, ripped off the mirror, but the encasement on the mirror was left intact. Go figure. But I realized, you know, we collide all the time with different things in life, but it is God who keeps us. It's God that protects us. It's, it was the wisdom of God that kept me because I've been in several accidents before. This is not my first one, but I tell y'all what, I've had a blowout on the interstate with my tire. I've had a, a tire on an 18 wheeler bounce across my car because I am on the road all the time because of my work. And I tell y'all what, my mind went right into gear when that I saw the bird coming. I was at a speed that if I slowed down, I would have caused the traffic behind me. If I had veered to the right, I would have gone off the bridge. If I veered to the left, I would have gone into traffic. And I just kept my composure. It is the same thing as the fluids in the body. Yeah, yeah, y'all trying to see how she connecting this. Listen, it's the same thing. We have to take control. 
There is no need for us to panic here about anything. That's why we get up every morning. We spend time with God so he can help us to get our minds on straight for whatever is coming for the day. You see, listen, it's the same with the fluids in our bodies. The blood is also made in the bone marrow. So if we don't give our bodies the proper nutrients, then the blood is not going to flow right and our lymph system is not going to flow properly. Again, we must exercise in order to get the blood flowing and the lymph fluid flowing. We get the blood flowing, it's going to clean out toxins. The lymph fluids are there to flush out the body. It's just not in urine. It's just not in our kidneys because these are areas of elimination of toxins in the body. The lungs, let me see, the lungs, the skin, the kidneys, the liver, our bowels. So those areas, it's others too, but those areas, those main organs, they flush out the toxins. Our lymph system flushes out the toxins. So there are a lot of ways that things exit the body. Prayer is a main way for us to get our minds on straight so that we can take care of ourselves. Don't know how I got over there, but you know what? We need God. And if anybody picks at you and tell you, because <laughs> this has been a week for me with people saying, oh, oh yeah, you're going to go and pray about it, aren't you? Of course I am. Did, did you wake up this morning and did you see that sun? And, and, and when you, before you went to bed, did you see the moon and the stars out there? My daddy did that. My daddy, who I'm connected to. That's why I've learned it's not tough skin. I don't have to have tough skin. I have to have a heart of compassion, but I have to be bold as a lion. I have that on my wall in my prayer room. The righteous are as bold as a lion, and that's who I am. Don't cross me when it comes to my papa, because I know who I am. Do you know who you are? That's why you spend time with him. People can't get you off course, because that's a trick of the enemy, and we know him. He comes to steal, kill, and destroy the lymphatic system. He's trying to kill and steal your life from you by keeping you in darkness, even about your health, even about this temple that the spirit of truth lives in. I just love him. Spirit of truth. <laughs> Good morning. <laughs> but listen, listen, y'all. He's telling us things to come. He's telling us what's coming. All of this junk, all of this food that have been produced for um, ease of use for speed, for quickness, um, that, that it just helps, supposedly, it helps us to have, uh, to do other things. You know, well, if the food is already prepackaged, prepared, fast food, drive through, pick this up, carry that, you know, the question is, what are we saving all of that extra time to do? Come home, sit down and do nothing? Come home, sit down, watch TV. Come home and get involved in something, binge watch. And still not um, satisfied nutritionally. It is a day of information. We need information to make, make better decisions. We need information in our spiritual walk. We need information in finance. We need information in health. We need information in nutrition. We need information in physical activity. We need information in all aspects of life. So that's what I'm trying to do just a little bit, just to get us informed today. I don't know. I'm in, I'm in a mellow kind of place today, but I like it. And I want you to be informed. Good morning, because that's my tagline right there. Good morning. Because, you know, when I say it, good morning, it's like those endorphins in my body go boom, boom, boom. Wake up, wake up, wake up. All right. So the lymphatic system, we know what its purpose serves in our lives. We're going to clean it up. All right. I want to tell you all that um, this lymphatic system is a part of the circulatory system and a crucial part of the immune system. It consists of glands, lymph nodes, the spleen, the thymus gland, and the tonsils. The lymphatic system has multiple functions such as removing 
intestinal fluid or interstitial fluid from tissue, absorbing and transporting fatty acids and fats from the digestive system, transporting white blood cells to and from the lymph nodes into the bones, transporting, transporting antigen presenting cells such as dendritic cells to the lymph nodes where an immune response is stimulated. Now listen, that's what the lymph system does. It, it is co-laboring with the other organs in the body to keep the body functioning. That's what we do with God. We co-labor with him. He is the head engineer, head contractor, head rebuilder. And so what he comes in, he's saying, I need you to do this for me. And we're like, what, what? Because, you know, when, because we, there's a song that used to, I, I, I can't remember the words, but it's, you know, um, send me, I'll go one of them kind of songs like that, you know, but when God says, okay, I got something I want you to do. And then we, we are like, okay, God, whoo, God is calling me to do something. And he says, I need you to eat clean. I need you to eat healthy. And we get an attitude. Oh, I thought it was something big. That is something big. Because how can he call you to minister the gospel and preach the gospel, but you can't hardly walk around? You're not obeying him with eating, preparing the first, doing your first works, loving yourself, loving him enough to do what he tells you to do. How can you do that? We, we get excited when, when, you know, it's like, yeah, girl, I got a call of God on my life. Yes, sir. I have been called to be dota, 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 whatever the title is that we are in pursuit of. But then we're so big that we have to sit in a chair to even preach. No, no, no. We, we're ignoring him in that little thing right there. We're ignoring him right there. This, I, listen, this is no shade on nobody. This is not I'm trying to shoot an arrow out at a particular person that I know personally. No, that's not what I'm doing. But I am personally saying to you, if you believe God is going to call you to carry and preach this gospel, how are you representing him in front of other people? With your weight, with being sick, with not being able to move forward and do the things that you need to do. Somebody has to help you get around as a man or woman of God. See, I, I'm, I guess today it's just, Let's stop because we are aging every single day. Every single day. All right, guys. That's on the lymphatic system. We know we got to exercise. We know we got to move around. We got to put on some music. My son is the baddest DJ out there. Party with G. Party with me. I'm here. You here. We here. That he, he, he said, Mama, I did that. I say that when I do my shows because of you being a cancer beater. I'm here, you here, we all here. Yeah. So I'm here, you here, we here. I'm a, gee, I just took that from you. We're here and we got to do what we got to do to take care of our bodies. Right, right, right. So let's go on and find out what the nutritional benefits of things that we're going to juice today. So what I had to do last night before I went to bed, because I've been going to bed a little bit earlier because I do have a lot of things to do. And I noticed that I left my mangoes and I think I'm going to put a lime in this because the lime, no, yeah, I can do limes with carrots, but I'm telling y'all the mangoes started to just shrivel up really quick. I bought them on Saturday or Friday and I thought I got to use these mango, uh, these nectarines before they go bad. The oranges have been in my refrigerator for weeks and they are nice and plump. Look at that. They are nice. Ooh. They are nice and plump and juicy. They didn't dry out. The mango is good. But I tell y'all, but I'm still going to juice these nectarines. They're all shriveled, but I don't mind. Because, you know, I think, is it the nectarines that turn into plums? You know, prunes. Is it is it nectarines that turn into prunes? One of those fruits turn into prunes. Plums turn into prunes. Raisins. Grapes turn into raisins. Little children out there who didn't know that. But anyway, I'm going to use these because I don't call them rotten fruit. I call them overripe. They're not moldy, so I'm going to use them. And then we have these beautiful, what they're called lunar carrots, which are white carrots. Isn't that amazing? But I tell you, I can't wait to get to the nutritional value. I'm going to step off the camera 
and I'm going to get me a lime because I have it right over here in my basket. And I'm going to give you all a link that y'all should go and look at this lady. Her, I don't know her name, but her um, on YouTube is called Alpha Foodie, A-L-P-H-A Foodie. And she was on a show on Netflix called, I don't remember the name of the show. But anyway, she won on that show. She's not only a, um, um, she loves to cook, but she's a chemist. And so she understands the, the chemistry of foods and what the different textures do in the body. And she makes this salad and it's with mango, avocado, fresh corn, cilantro. Um, but go to her site and just look at some of the foods that she prepares. She even cleans out a cucumber and then she'll stuff it. She makes what is called a vegetable uh, sushi. Yeah. Kimbob is what, Gimbob is what my girl on the show that I like on Netflix um, calls it. But anyway, Alpha Foodie is the YouTube channel. She fixed some amazing, amazing foods and some beautiful desserts. And she'll um, get you to eat flowers and stuff too. But anyway, mangoes, the benefits of mangoes. I know I was a little bit, I don't think I hit y'all too hard today, but what I want to see is us mature in God and be healthy. I, 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 um, I've even started doing squats because I noticed I have to go up steps in my house, steps to get in the house, steps to go, you know, go upstairs to the prayer room. Well, I don't want to struggle to do that, but I noticed since, um, I'm not doing the exercise like I once did. So I started doing squats two days ago and I'm telling you, I felt the difference when I came up my steps yesterday, when I came home from work. Why? Because certain things that I don't have to do at my shop anymore. I don't have to lift furniture. Uh, my grandson does that for me, him and one of his friends. Hey, Dede, thank you so much for being my grandest, the one who helps grandma out all the time. Yeah, I'm going to give you your props because you are my little king. And I so appreciate you for coming. I mean, I can call him on a dime and he'll say, Grandma, I'll be right there. I'll ask him, how, how close are you to uh, Scrim Shack? And giving a shout out to that place, too. And he'll say, Grandma, I'm. I'm pretty close. And I'll say, will you stop and get me some lunch? Yeah, grandma. No worries. Anything. I can call him right now. Well, no, because he's still sleeping. But after 11, because he works late in the day. I mean, he had, he, he's just a good kid or a young man, I should say. So that this show is for my grandest. I call him my grandest of my grandchildren. And he understands why. So anyway, I'm not going to get emotional about that. Mangoes. Um, mangoes are full of vitamin K and it helps your blood to clot effectively and helps prevent anemia. Didn't we talk about anemia the other day? We did an oxygen in a body. It plays, it also plays an important role in help strengthening your bones. Well, how do your bones get strengthened? Through the blood in the in the bone marrow. So we're learning how this all connects, right? Yeah, because it is. It there, there. We we can't, you know. Uh, let's see. There's a little, you know. We have arthritis somewhere, so we take that off, and we're like, let me inject some, uh, some, some, some nutrients in here, and then, then let me put it back. No, it's all connected. It's all connected from the top of our head to the soles of our feet. That's a saying you hear in church, right? We pray the protection of God over you from the top of your head to the soles of your feet. Well, we, I'm asking you by the power of the Holy Ghost today, the spirit of truth, from the top of your head to the soles of your feet, can you get nutritious foods and put that in your system? And then you can pray about something else. You can get the power of God and pray effectively over people that are really struggling, that have those terrible, terrible issues in their body. Yeah, okay. Be quiet over here. Mangoes are also rich in vitamin C, which is important for forming blood vessels and healthy collagen, as well as helping you heal. They are, um, let's see, they get rid of those free radicals, which can cause damage to your cells and potentially lead to cancer. Listen, guys, that's what happened to me. I am learning how cancer came in my body because God told me. You, your diet is wrong. Again, three ways sickness can come in the body. It's genetic, 
it's demonic, and it is diet. GDD, genetic demonic diet, one of the three. And very rarely do you see somebody that's being attacked demonically. But what your poor diet will do is cause you to feel like you're being under attack because insanity kicks in. Mm. Okay, just want us to be informed. Heart health. Mangoes are also helpful supporting your cardiovascular system. They are a great source of magnesium and potassium, both of which are connected to lower blood pressure and regular pulse and a regular pulse. Furthermore, mangoes are the source of a compound known as mangiferin or mangiferin, which early studies suggest may be able to reduce inflammation of the heart. Mangoes. Digestive health. Mangoes can help stabilize your digestive system. They offer both amylase compounds and dietary fiber, which can help you avoid constipation. Amylase compounds can help dissolve other foods in your stomach, breaking down difficult starches. Meanwhile, the fiber in mangoes can be more effective by relieving constipation than equivalent fiber supplements. So guess what I'm going to do before we juice some? I'm going to eat a piece of mango. Mm-hmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. It's so sweet and tart at the same time. Mangoes are rich in folate. Folate is vitamin B9. How do I know that? Remember last month, Spirit of Truth woke me up and said folate and folic acid. And I'm like, what are you talking about all night long? I just kept hearing folate, folic acid, which let me know you need that in your system. But also pregnant women out there that are watching me, or you know, one of your friends out there that's pregnant or thinking about getting pregnant, Tell them that they definitely need to do their prenatal vitamins and they also need to start eating foods rich in B9 because it will keep their baby from being born with spina bifida. Come on, guys. We got to send the message out. We got to help somebody else. We got to stop being so insular and warning everything to ourselves, we have got to spread this message. It's not about me. It's about helping somebody else have a better quality of life. Subscribe, share with your friends. Tell people, listen, I got a girlfriend or there's a lady on YouTube that's teaching the juicing and teaching about the health benefits of the juicing. I'm not saying nobody else is doing it, but I'm doing it. So why not? Share. Yeah. Like. Yeah. Subscribe. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, that's really good. Mm. I told y'all that already. We found this out before, too, that we can't eat the skins because the skins have a compound in it called erythriol or urethriol, which is also found in poison ivy. So be careful with that skin. All right. You know, next week, I want y'all to be ready. You might need pen and paper next week when I am doing the show, because we're going to talk about vitamins and minerals, vitamins and minerals. Why do we need the fruits, vegetables, meats, beans, lentils, seafood? Why do we need that? Why do we need organ meat? Those there are certain nutrients and there are certain minerals that we need in the body. And so I am going to talk about something that a lot of people ask me, do you use sea moss? And I told them no, because I'm not going to put something in my body that I don't know about. But I did research because I've got to get us ready for next week's episodes. And I found out that sea moss has 64 minerals out of the hundred and something, I think it's 109, 111. Sea moss has 67 of those minerals that the body needs. So y'all may want to. Um, I'm, I'm going to put it in the description box today, but you may want to order you some sea moss. All right. So the white carrots, they're called the lunar carrots and they are full of antioxidants. They have been shown to reduce the risk of colon, lung and breast cancer. See, we we're thinking that why do I why, why, why is there such a thing as rainbow carrots? We had purple carrots on Monday. Nope, on Tuesday. Today we have the white carrots and you better be sure that one day next week we're going to do orange carrots. We're not going to leave the orange ones out, but the white, look at that. It's beautiful. Look, look, it's called a lunar carrot, but they're called white carrots. And there are carrots that are whiter than this, 
But I love how God will do a thing and say, no, I'm not going to put any pigment in you. I'm not going to put the um, beta carotene, which is the green, I'm sorry, or the orange um, in you or that antioxidant color, even though it's still an antioxidant rich food, everything doesn't have to have color. This is what some people would call, oh, that's an albino carrot. It is not because it still has nutrients that will feed the body. Even people who are considered albino don't have the pigments in their skin. They're still people. They're still loving. They're still kind. They're still human. So guess what? Everything serves a purpose. All right. They're also excellent for digestion. White carrots are beneficial in blood sugar management. The low calorie white carrot is also a good source of starch. It's a low calorie. Um, you could actually make mashed carrots. If you are have a problem with potatoes, white potatoes, make mashed carrots. Mm, that sounds good. Uh, then there's another thing about the white carrot that when I read, it's very interesting to know that people have oral, what is called OAS, oral allergy syndrome. Mm. It's because the rest of your body is toxic. That's what I think. I could be wrong. Um, probably am. But do some research on it. See if you, your toxicity level is high because you're not getting proper nutrients. So then you're having an allergic reaction to certain foods. But anyway, the pigment or the orange in the carrots is related to oral allergy syndrome. White carrot, therefore, becomes a suitable alternative to the common orange carrot with the distressing carotene, which is the orange color. So that's on the carrots. Then the benefits of the nectarines that I let sit out and almost went bad on me. Um, they over ripened. I meant, no, they are right yeah they're they're right they facilitate weight loss although they are sweet they do not contribute to weight gain because they are low in calories and high in fiber listen guess what guys let's get some nectarines for the summer let's get some nectarines because they're low in calories they don't increase our weight loss look at that just think you can put you some brazil nuts and a nectarine in your bag today it fiber encourages satiety satiety and helps prevent overeating fullness is the word you're satisfied all right i couldn't pronounce that word it's like a tongue twister it aids in cancer prevention nectarines includes a variety of phytochemicals including anthocyanins um, the anthocyanins prevent cancer um, also has a substance in it called anti-tumor capabilities because it's an antioxidant, anti-inflammatory, and mutation preventative activity. So what it is going to do, these nectarines are so powerful that they go in and they help the lymph suit system to break down those particles that will go into the lymph node and cause blockage. That's the understanding that I just got. Uh, it enhances skin health. Um, Copper, which it has vitamin A and copper, copper encourages the development of collagen, the protein that offers skin suppleness, and vitamin A protects the skin from ultraviolet radiation and regulates skin thickness. Niacin in nectarine supports healthy skin. Let me tell y'all, if I could take niacin every day, I would, but a small dosage of it, because I like niacin to me is like a, well, it cleanses the blood, number one. But it just, it's the most calming vitamin that I have ever had. It's like, um, I don't know, for those of you who, I guess, um, like that euphoric feeling, it, <laughs> niacin says, girl, just chill out. Don't worry about a thing. <laughs> That's what niacin does to me. But a very small dosage. I told y'all before, when I was diagnosed with cancer and I was going through my journey of finding what worked for me. I would take, I took one full, I think it was 50 milligrams of niacin. Oh, I felt like I was on fire for about 20 minutes because it burns. It goes through those vessels. It's like a match has been lit into your blood vessels. But I, I didn't do that the next time. I would cut that pill in half and I would take half a dosage. But anyway, um, 
It has vitamin C, which help keep tissues toned and preserve for you, the youthfulness of the skin by helping to produce collagen. Studies have supported the photoprotective role of lutein, which is found in nectarines. It protects the skin from oxidative stress and UV-induced urythma or redness. It increases your immune system because of the vitamin C. It repairs the immune system and increases the risk of illness just in the nectarine. Of course, it's good for the skin. It has um, immunity boosting advantages and it fights off infectious sites in the immune system. This nectarine, hmm, is powerful. It lowers your blood pressure and improves cardiac health, cardi cardiac health. Remember we talked about uh, the cardiovascular system, which is your heart, and it helps to keep those blood vessels clear. So, so it, it lowers the risk of heart disease and high blood pressure. When out of control, it can harm other organs, including the kidneys and brain, meaning that high blood pressure. But look, a nectarine, come on, a nectarine a day keeps the health doctor, the heart doctor away. So um, additionally, let's see, it has potassium to lower your blood pressure. It lowers the risk of strokes, heart attack, and coronary heart disease just from the potassium in that nectarine. Stone fruits, such as nectarine, should be consumed frequently to maintain cardiovascular health antioxidants that are good for the heart. Nectarines contain chlorogenic acid and anthocyanins that reduce the oxidation of low density lipoproteins or LDLs, that's the bad cholesterol, and artery hardening and promote normal platelet circulation. So a nectarine will even go in and raise the LD HDL and kill off the LDL, which is helping to open your arteries up, which is helping with your heart. Nectarines include flavonoids that help lower the risk of atherosclerosis by reducing the rise in platelet aggregation. Stone fruits may not improve cardiac health completely, but they function best when consumed along with grains, lean proteins, legumes, fruits, and vegetables. Stone fruit. So it must be, I guess a stone fruit is the fruit with the seed in the middle. I'm going to look that up and tell y'all next week. All right. Mm -hmm. Fruits with a high anti antioxidant content may help prolong life. I know it will. Gets rid of that oxidative stress. Helps with our metabolism. Mm, I love just learning about what God did for us. And that somebody was, he put that wisdom in them to tell us. Mm hmm. Listen at this. It reduces the risk of anemia. The inability of the body's red blood cells to transport oxygen to the tissues is called anemia. Iron is a crucial mineral required for the creation of red blood cells. Although nectarines do not contain a lot of iron, vitamin C helps the body absorb iron. So they're full of iron, um, vitamin C. Then we're going to talk about these oranges. Oh, that stays outside. And I think, oh, the mangoes. Let me see. M N O M N O mango. Hmm. I did mangoes already. I have to put it back. That's how I know I did it. Because mangoes help with anemia as well. Okay. So we're going to do the oranges now. The benefits of oranges. Oranges help make collagen, a protein that heals wounds and gives you smoother skin makes it easier to absorb iron to fight anemia. So this is a good juice for those of you who have anemia. Boosts your immune system. It slows the advance of age-related macular de degeneration, a leading cause of vision loss. Helps fight cancer, causing free radicals. When you're feeling anxious, vitamin C can also lower your levels of the stress hormone, cortisol, and your blood pressure. It's an anti-inflammatory food. Um, it keeps that inflammation from becoming long-term. It can trigger, because inflammation will trigger these uh, diseases. Okay, so let's, let's go here. First, you get 
poor diet, which causes free radicals to come into the body. Once those free radicals start attacking the good cells that once you felt good, once those free radicals start attack those good cells, then those good cells turn into inflammation because those inflammation cells are becoming now bad cells because they've been attacked at the door from the well from poor diet and attacking the free radicals which causes inflammation which then causes cancer so it is a process but we've got to now reverse that process that's what that's all we're doing here so um then if you get to the point of inflammation then you have diabetes heart disease arthritis cancer alzheimer's disease that's where all of these things are coming from. So let's begin the journey of eating clean. This episode, I believe it is, I can tell y'all, I'm going to go off camera for a minute because I have it written in my calendar what number each episode is. And y'all, please forgive me for leaving the camera. But again, this show is unscripted and I do want to be on task. So today is Thursday. We're on episode 43. I know I said that earlier, but I just want to be sure because there are several things that I'm doing with numbers, with days. And one, I'm on day 47 and this thing, I'm on day 43. So let's check this out, guys. Um, the fiber in the oranges keep your bowels healthy. It, it lowers your cholesterol and risk of heart disease and ulcers. The fiber also slows the way your body absorbs sugar. It's a big bonus if you have diabetes. Um, it's full of calcium, which means it keeps your bones and your organs and your muscles strong. Folate. There it is. There's that folate. There's that folate, folic acid, vitamin B9. There it is. Oranges are a great way to get a big dose of folate naturally. Your body uses it to divide cells and make DNA because it helps prevent birth defects. It's an especially important B vitamin for pregnant women. It's a good sugar. Um, it has a lot of uh let's see it's that's what you need instead of a candy bar this is what my notes are saying it's full of fiber vitamins and antioxidants it's full of potassium um this th this nutrient lowers your blood pressure and oranges have a bunch of potassium citric acid and citrates these compounds help prevent kidney stones from forming forming now it is saying that Health risk of oranges. Sometimes you can get too much of a good thing. I told y'all that we can't OD on the fruits and vegetables. We can't just keep juicing and thinking that that's all we need. That's that's not good for us. And, and we have to have wisdom when we do anything. And we have to ask God for wisdom because some, the word says, let me stop right there. The word of God says, if you lack wisdom, ask and he will give you freely he won't even hold it back from you he'll give you wisdom for free ask him for wisdom on how to eat right how to navigate through life whatever it is that you're dealing with i don't know what it is that you're dealing with i was dealing with being under attack for us making a decision that somebody did not like which is none of their business really but again people think that they can come into your life and railroad your life because their life is a wreck no no so ask god for wisdom he'll give it to you he'll show you how to deal with everything you're facing even your diet but this is the risk though this mainly applies to the supplement form too much vitamin c at one time could give your body more fiber and sugar than it needs and that's why you know i remember somebody must have told my mom that she could have orange juice and my mom would go through a gallon of orange juice you know, in a couple of days, thinking that she was doing her body good, but was doing her body more harm because nobody told her the word moderation. Moderately, not a whole bunch at one time. If you're going to do this, drink a little bit or if you like it that much, drink some this week. Back off next week. Go back to it this the following week. Moderation, balance, timing. All of those things, wisdom, they all go together. Watch out for nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, stomach cramps, headache, and insomnia. Oranges are high in acid, and that can make symptoms of gastro, gastroesophageal reflux disease. It'll make it worse, called GERD. Too much of a good thing. 
too much of these good things that God left for us. They have to be done in moderation. We have to have balance. Not, am I telling you to stop juicing? That's not what I'm saying. I'm telling you, if there's a particular juice that you are so in love with that you got to have every day, you might be doing more damage to your body than good. Switch up. That's all I'm saying. Try something new. Try something different. If you're taking beta blockers, too many oranges could increase your potassium intake and lead to kidney damage. Oh, oh, oh God, I got to back up and I got to stop right there, y'all. Okay. Okay. So my mom, when she died, was over 300 pounds. My mom had heart problems. My mom loved orange juice. Too many oranges could increase your potassium intake and lead to kidney damage. When my mom died and she was in a hospital for three months, they were doing everything that they could, I guess. That's what they were doing to, to keep her alive. But my mom's kidneys got down to 3%, which meant her everything had stopped functioning for her. But could it have been because... She loved orange juice so much and she thought she was because it's nutritious. It's full of vitamin C. That's why it's dangerous to walk in darkness. It's dangerous not to be informed. It's dangerous not to do research. It's dangerous to sit and watch soap operas all day. It's dangerous to sit and watch a bunch of foolish crap on TV or on YouTube or on all of these other shows. And yes, I love YouTube because YouTube is how I get to you. But how can we sit and watch a bunch of dirty, trashy things that's not beneficial to us and we get one piece of information about one thing, orange juice, oranges are full of vitamin C and they're good for you. And we're pumping those things in our little kids and pumping it in our body, but we're doing more damage to ourselves than good. Let's have variety. Let's get variety, guys. I don't give us orange juice every day. I don't. I try to give us a variety. These carrots and everything is new to me, but I, I got to go because we're almost to our hour. And so that's that's the fruits that we're going to do today. I got to put that over there. And I'm going to, that, that just hit me when I read it. You know, the word says, my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. You wouldn't do this to your vehicle. You wouldn't even, if you dropped your cell phone, you are in panic mode. But you will abuse your body most of the day. Most of the day. Even myself. I didn't drink enough water yesterday. And I, and I feel it today. Y'all, you. I'm going to pray for us. Y'all pray for me. That we take the time to remind ourselves. To take care of ourselves. All right, guys, we're going to juice now. OK, I'm done. That 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 really that hit me kind of hard when I saw that. Because I thought my mom was doing good, you know, drinking her orange juice, not knowing that the oranges were high in calories. And um, high in all kinds of things. I just saw the um, my note there on Sunday, March the 12th. I will be at, let me see, I'll have to get my phone, but the wonderful pastor Stephen in Norfolk, and I'm going to get that information for y'all. I'm still talking. Good morning, honey. I'm still talking, guys. I just got to get this address. Ah. <sighs> And I'm going to have that for you guys. And so let's see. Because I do want, for those of you who would like to come, now what I will be doing on that particular Sunday, it is the name of the church. Hmm. Let me see. The name of the church. I'm going to behave myself today, guys. Because I don't have, ah, the name of the church is God's, the name of the church is God's Prepared Word Ministry in Norfolk, Virginia. The address is, let me see if I can pull that up, 5822 Chesapeake Boulevard, Norfolk, Virginia, 23513. 
I will be there on March 12th. Uh, that's a Sunday at 11 o'clock. And they have invited me to come in and minister to the people about nutrition because a lot of the people there are not doing well. And so I really want you all to Um, I really want you all to pray for me, but also please eat clean. Please take care of yourselves. And we're going to go ahead and do this juice because I have uh, taken a lot of time today. But I want you all to know I take the time because I care for you and I care for me. But I'm learning so much. And you know what? When we get the information, when you know better, you do better. Right. If you want to. So we're going to go ahead. I want to juice the carrots first because I want to see how beautiful the white in that carrot comes out. All right, let's do it. You know, I'll bet you I could take this and make a nice carrot almond flour muffin. And that's really, really pretty. But it still smells the same as regular carrots. And I'm going to show you all that. That's what eight carrots it has a little yellow tint to it, but it's beautiful. It just sm uh, smells like regular carrots, you know. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and put the lime in now because why? I think I'm not going to turn that on yet. That lime skin is uh last time I didn't put the lime skin in, but I'm gonna do it this time. Go ahead and do the oranges. That's four oranges, eight carrots. No, that's five oranges, guys. Eight carrots. And it's nice and cold. Like I said, I prepped all of this stuff last night before I went to bed. No, no. Almost dropped my bowl. But I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and put the nectarines in. And then turn this on. It looks like it's going to be a beautiful, creamy juice today. Very, very nutritious drink. Um, just a little something different for us. Please take care of yourselves. I'm not angry with anybody. If I sound that way, I'm not trying to be abusive to anybody. But what I do want us to do is stop thinking that we can play with our health because we're in control here. The doctor is not. We, we, I'm going to go ahead and the mango is the last thing. And remember, I had a little, I think I'm going to leave me a piece of mango out. And uh, I'm going to eat some more of that because of the fiber that's in it. I love the taste of mango. <laughs> more like a tropical drink, right? That's what it looks like. You know, when I used to go to the clubs, I was never a drinker anyway. But I would love to look at how the um, mixologists at the bars in the uh, clubs and things, uh, we, you know, you call them bartenders. But on TV, you know, you, you have those shows on Netflix and they have the mixologist show. And they would, ooh, when they would, you know, take the, the margarita glass and stir it in ice. I don't know how they got it to stick up there. I don't know because I don't. I didn't drink. But I thought those are so pretty and some of the glasses are beautiful. Um, and so we have our Paws with God glass, but this has such a tropical look to it. And I see that um, I believe it's the mango that's gone down. So I'm going to get me, guys, you won't be able to see the color, but that's okay. I'm going to get me a margarita glass this morning. 
How about that? I got a purple margarita glass. So you might not see the color, but I tell you what, you'll get to hear how wonderful it is because let's see. Here we go. I'm going to put it in the Pause with God glass just a little so y'all can see that color. It actually really looks like a nice smooth orange juice. Put it up there again, you say? All right. But I am going to drink today. Mmm, yum. Can we be a little fancy today with our what we do here? You know, like I'm a mixologist today. How about that? <laughs> so look at this, guys. Here we go. I'm a little fancy today. So here is our drink with a slice of the mango on the edge. So look at that, guys. Isn't that a nice tropical drink for your parties this summer or when you do your ladies brunch or your tea? Do things like that. You know, you, you want to do something different. So why not fix a nice, healthy juice? This is the lunar carrots, which is the white carrots. It is oranges, it's mango, and it's nectarines. Let's see. And lime. Let's see what we got. Mmm. Ooh. I don't know which flavor is coming through the most. Mmm. Mmm. The lime is kicking. Mmm. Mmm. I was trying to find the carrots in there, but I can't. I can't really taste them. The lime is very strong. I can taste the mango nectarine because they're similar in taste. This is a very good party drink for those of you who don't drink. All right? <laughs> mm -hmm. mm. I love you guys. Please know that I'm turning the camera here. I love you guys. And please know that I'm not trying to be hard on any of us because cancer for me, if it wasn't for the spirit of God holding me when I got that diagnosis, I would have fallen. I would have gone into a deep depression, but he came and he carried me through it, but he also showed me how to overcome it. And so I am stern with us because some of us are really thinking that this is a joke, that this is a game. And that's a trick of the enemy. And then when you get down, because some of you have already been down and then God brought you back up and you think that because God did it that way, that he saved your life for you to continue to do what you've been doing. Why didn't you go to him and ask him, God, and tell him, first of all, thank you for saving my life. And God, where do we go from here? What did I do that caused me to be like this? See, when you don't believe that you're doing anything and you're not taking responsibility for your own life, that means that you're delusional and you are in darkness in that particular area. And you have to ask God to forgive you for that. I love you guys. It is a good day to have a good day. Don't forget to go in the subscription box and order some stuff. And even for those of you who like my hair, I got this wig on Amazon. I'll put it in the description box too. It's just, I need to get my hair braided and I didn't certainly didn't want y'all to see my natural Afro. Didn't want to do that. <laughs> y'all would be saying, Oh, get away, get away. But anyway, being silly, but love yourself because then you'll have something to give to somebody else. Y'all have a great day, day and episode number 43. God bless you. Bye-bye.